this is SIO chip KB3910 you will press button power button you will press power button and you should check RSM reset and S5 pin see here RSM reset pin number 38 S5 enable pin number 37 3.3 volts is there or not if this voltage is ok SIO and BIOS chip is ok this is power button we will short this button and we will check here 3.3 volts will come now we will short this one and this voltage we will see this voltage oh, right. 3.3 volts is ok RSM reset and S5 voltage is ok now BIOS chip and SIO chip is ok this is second step no output at this point you should check first power button voltage is there or not this is power button you will see at power button voltage see here power switch you see here 3.3 volts is ok or not this is power connector we will check here see here 2.79 nearly 3 volts is there so power button is ok first you should check at power button pin 3.3 volts or 2.8 volts is there or not this voltage is ok first step is ok we will short this pin after pressing power button the second pin goes to continuity with pin number 1 that means second pin goes to 3 volts goes to 0 volts this pin grounded through pin number 1 this voltage goes to page number 31 KBC power button KBC power button page number 31 this is KBC power button see here KBC power button this voltage goes to 3G 3 volt 3 volts goes to 0 volts without pressing power button first you should check this KBC voltage 3.3 .3 volts is ok or not and clock signal clock signal this is clock signal 32.768 kilohertz crystal and you should check at memory cs 173 pin number and read and write pins voltage is there or not no voltage at this point you should check uh, this input pins and you change this ic this ic is okay this voltage you should check this voltage goes to page number 33 bias chip already explained you should check here supply this is bias chip supply at pin number 37 reset voltage at pin number 12 and CE voltage that means chip select voltage chip enable voltage at pin number 26 after you press power button after pressing power button you should check this voltage goes to 0 pin number 29 after this voltage will release this IC pin number 37 and 38 when you press power button this voltage is ok SIO and BIOS chip is ok see here SIO chip number NPCE781 or 783 you should check this IC press power button and you should check RSM reset 3.3 volts is ok or not at pin number 75 S5 on voltage S5 on voltage at pin number 26 after pressing power button pin number 26 and RSM reset pin 75 if it is voltage is ok in this pins this chip is ok no output this pins you should change SIO and BIOS chip and you should we will check input input supply reset clock signals see this is ITE8512E we will see RSM, RSM reset pin and S5 pin RSM reset pin pin number 80 S5 command SLP S5 command pin number 73 you should check these two pins voltage is there or not no voltage at this point after pressing power button you should check bias and 
SIO chip. This is KB926 QFA1 IC. You will see here RSM reset and S5 pin. See here RSM reset pin number 100. You should check here 3.3 volts is there or not. Next you should check S5 command. See here PM SLP S5 pin number 14. You should check here voltage is there or not. No voltage at this point. You should check power on off switch and you will check BIOS chip and uh, this SIO chip. You will change BIOS chip and this SIO chip. This is Lenovo circuit. In this circuit, after pressing power button, RVCC on voltage 3 volts come out from this pin number 13 of this IC. You should check here. 3.3 volts is there or not after pressing power button. No voltage at this point. You should check BIOS and this IC. WPCE775 IC. This is SIO chip. This is Sony circuit. This is Toshiba circuit. This IC number. This is KB. 393 KB 926 QFA1 already uh, this I say I explained in others motherboard so many motherboards have this type of ICs but company name is different see here SLPS5 pin number 14 RSM reset pin number 100 you should check these two pins voltage is there or not no voltage at this point you should check BIOS chip and this SIO chip See here, 12.5 volts is there, no voltage, we will see again, 12 point, some laptop motherboards have 3 volts voltage only, in this set 12.5 volts or 15 volts is there, when you press power button this voltage goes to zero. We will short power button here. Pin See here, S5 pin, pin number 41. When we will short, when press power button, this voltage will come here. Pin number 41. Pin number 41.